Oh yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to talk about the BTS 12 shotgun. And yes, this thing looks pretty cool in my opinion. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. But man, this thing's just really cool. First of all, I love the bullpup. And this is going to be my first bullpup firearm. So I'll be doing follow-up reviews on this shotgun and let you guys know what I think. So what do we have here? Well, this is a semi-auto, gas-operated, 18-inch barrel, 2 and 3 quarter or 3-inch chambered, 12-gauge shotgun. And this comes from Turkey and is actually quite affordable. And Turkey seems to be offering those types of options lately, don't they? Now, I bought this with my own money and with the generous help from all of the supporters. So, thank you guys. And if you guys would like to help support the channel, there's links down in the description. So, let's take a look at this bad boy. Let's take a quick peek here because I think it looks kind of unique, actually. So, 18-inch barrel, bullpup. So, it makes this actually a quite compact configuration. And although it's got a little weight to it, being a 12 gauge, it's actually very lightweight. And I'm finding already for this to be pretty darn ergonomic. Fits in my shoulder really well. It has a nice firm feeling in the rear with the buttstock. But a nice, pretty soft rubber butt pad, which is definitely kind of come in handy shooting, you know, full house loads. Whether it's buckshot or, or slugs or whatever. It features an aluminum receiver where the action is, okay, a polymer fore end and a polymer lower. So aluminum where it needs to be to house the actual, you know, stress portions of the firearm, but enough polymer to keep the weight down. The grip, very AR style, a real soft type rubber that's hard to describe here on camera, but firm but yet you can still squeeze it a very supple grippy type of rubber both on this buttstock as well as the pistol grip and i find it very comfortable now some of the manual of arms are going to be very similar to an ar we're going to come over here to the left side and there we can see our safety safe and fire so you're going to use that in the same sort of manner that you would your ar bring it over here on fire and then I can just instantly push my thumb forward. Real comfortable. Now this includes, like I said, an 18 inch bore, proof tested, drilled, and chrome lined. So quite impressive with the barrel actually. I always like a chrome lined bore. That's gonna lead to less risk of any kind of rusting or oxidization or things like that. And we can take a peek right there and you can start to see that shiny chrome already. Now this feeds from a detachable five round magazine. From this company, they say you can get either two round, five round, or 10 round mags. These are steel construction. It comes with one, two mags. So here's our second one right here. It comes with a baggie of accessories, which we'll get into in a little bit. It comes with like a multi-tool some bolts, some wrenches, things like that, a lock for your trigger guard. It also comes with a set of Picatinny mounted flip ups that you could use if you wanted to replace this carry handle. So let's just kind of start at the top. There's a lot going on here and I'm gonna go over quite a few ambidextrous features that this has, which could make it pretty cool for you left-handed shooters out there. So we can see it has a long carry handle and personally, I really like the looks of that up there. What do you guys think? Now, within the carry handle, which is removable, it just mounts to the Picatinny rail, which is integrated into this forend. So, it has a rear adjustable sight here and also a front adjustable sight. So, kind of like your old school ARs, right? So, we can use the sight. It's at a perfect height right there for me. If you want to adjust the comb of the stock, it has a cheek riser with seven positions. So, adjustable cheek riser. This could be swapped out for any number of devices because there's a standard Picatinny rail across the top. Now, let's go to some of the ambidextrous features. So, we have our mag release on the right, right here. Big button, nicely textured that we can press down. I'm just trying to find the right camera angle where you guys can 
There we go. So we can depress that, and the mag releases. Now, here's another pretty cool feature. Let's come all the way around to the left side, and we're going to notice a little lever here, okay? And you can just simply grab the mag body here, take your thumb, push, and actuate the mag release over on this side as well. So that's pretty cool. Now, when this ships to you, the charging handle is going to come in this little baggie just so it doesn't poke through the box. It's real simple. You just slide it in there. So I have it set to left side charging right now, but this can be removed and swapped over to this side for right side charging as well. We're also going to notice both at the three o'clock and then over here at the nine o'clock position, we have a set of Picatinny rails. It came with this sling loop attached over to the left, but this also can be removed from the rail and swapped over to the right hand side. We also see it has a QD right here. So that could be a QD sling swivel and that could also be removed and swapped over to the right side here as well. It has a pretty large shell deflector, which is pretty cool. It's gonna eject the hulls to the right no matter what. There's no type of opening that I see over here to the left, but other than that, most of the options on this are, you know, quite customizable. Whether you want to move them around to the left or right, you have a ton of options up here with this rail. That 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock makes a great place to install a light, laser, all those kinds of things. You can see here, this is a pretty cool looking cover over that 18 inch chrome lined bore. It comes with a muzzle brake flash hider. It's kind of a combination device in my opinion. It has the holes to help with the flash. But if you look, there's little recessed scallops where the gas would exit out, which is going to give this some muzzle brake capability. Now, this is a standard thread, and it also comes with two different chokes that are included in this package too. It's very comfortable. Most of the weight is to the rear of this, being a bullpup. Bullpup meaning that you actually have your action behind the trigger and your magazine behind the trigger as well, which puts a lot of the weight right back into the shoulder. So once you're holding it, right, with support of your cheek and your shoulder, it's actually pretty comfortable to hold on to the thing as compared to other shotguns like this where more of the weight is in the middle and even out front more. So. That's pretty cool. I'm just kind of getting used to the concept of a bullpup myself as far as this is the first one I've ever owned, but I'm already really liking it. Let's go ahead and get this mag out of here. I really like this left side release where you can just hold on to the mag, push that lever, pull the mag right out of there. Now with the mags, I'm going to ask you guys if you can help me. If you don't know, that's cool, but if you guys know for a fact, like if you have one of these, let me know. I'm not sure if you have to get specific mags from them. Now, I read in a comment on a website that the ArmScore VR mags work with this. I cannot confirm that. I don't know. And I'm also wondering if the regular 1919 pattern, which is what you're going to find many of these semi-auto Turkish shotguns use, if those will work. Now, I do have a 1919 pattern shotgun at home, the magazine pattern. You guys probably know what I'm talking about if you're into these. So I have a couple of those that I can try, but I'm just not sure. So I'll show you guys as much as I can close-ups on this mag like I said I'm not going to be the guy that says the arm score mags work or the 1919 mags work maybe they're mags that are specific to this actual BTS 12 you see on the rear there of the spine okay there's that so yeah let me know down in the comments but it does come with the five round mags and look this is a very affordable price right now i'm going to do a bonus video on this on locals because there's certain things we do over there that we can't do here so if you guys want more information on where i got this and stuff like that you'll definitely want to check out this post because i think it's a really good deal the action on it feels very smooth rotate this over so you guys can see Nice big recoil spring in there. Yeah. So we can see BTS-12. This is made by the, I'm going to probably mispronounce it, Hatsan, Hatsan Arms Company, imported out of Turkey. Really comfortable. 
angled foregrip here. So it's kind of a harder polymer here, and we have a soft panel on both sides. This is that same really soft, grippy rubber that you're going to find in several areas of the firearm. Right here, which gives me a real nice grip here for my fingertips. We've got the little serrations here. I just want to emphasize again, very comfortable just to hold on to this thing. I've not shot it yet, but I will be soon at the range and I'll bring you guys along for that. Very nice grip. Really nice soft butt pad that I think is definitely going to help with some of the recoil. Let me take a look here. Just show you guys one more time what we're talking about. This spot back here, this spot of the firearm from here back is all aluminum that's what's actually housing the action i know that sounds weird this looks like it's a butt stock but this is a bullpup the actual action the reciprocating mass of this firearm is all back in this area so aluminum we can see it again over here so that's really nice helps cut down on weight while still adding the rigidity of metal but then we have a polymer forend the rail is polymer like i said you can swap out this um carry handle later if you want to but i'm showing you guys literally just how i got it out of the box this firearm is completely unmodified right now just like it left the factory polymer lower which is fine with me because that's not really where the stress of a shotgun like this is it's going to be in the action up here I'm just take another peek at this what do you guys think do you think this thing looks pretty cool or what three inch chamber shoot some magnum rounds out of this thing and i'll put it through its paces let me know if you guys have any more information on these mags i know that's my job I'll, I'll figure it out guys this is just the initial unboxing and maybe some of you guys have already had these for years but let me know if you already have one let me know if you're curious let me know if you guys want to see future follow-up videos because i'm going to shoot this thing regardless and if you guys are interested i'll definitely bring the camera out to the range and get you guys involved so we're just taking one more look here at the bts 12 gas operated 12 gauge 18 inch barrel made in turkey all right i'll be back with more on this firearm soon thanks for watching and have a good one